Guys, we are very excited to have our first guest appearance here on Jack's Chrome Show. This is Kurt Brunell from Clean Air Fleet in La Crosse, Wisconsin. Um, and here at Jack's Chrome Show, we want to provide as much useful content as we can. And this week's episode, that exemplifies that concept. Fuel costs and truck maintenance are two of the largest expenses any owner operator or fleet owner have to compete with when they're trying to make a profit. Uh, Clean Air Fleet over here, uh, they have a line of products that address both of these issues and more. If you want to increase the net profit of your truck or fleet of trucks, you guys should definitely stay tuned. So uh, let's get started. All right, Kurt, what do we have here? All right, so um, like uh, Dave said, um, Kurt with Clean Air Fleet, um, what we have is a one micron oil bypass purifying system. Um, what we're doing is cleaning the oil, getting better oil life, and the main focus is lower maintenance, better longevity, and more money in your bottom line. Um, so what we have you know, uh, here exactly is this is our demo unit. And we take this to uh, trade shows and trucking shows. Um, just shows exactly the difference between a full flow filter and the one micron oil purifier. So um, what we're gonna do is start out by adding some uh, five micron carbon black. And it's just a soot material. Um, Very cool. We add it to the oil. Um, of course, there's some in here already, but we'll add more for effect. And stir it up well and just show you uh, exactly, this is this basically is simulating the dirt, dust, soot, and other contaminants that are found in your oil. Um, of course, solid contaminants are you know going to be a main cause of wear, and uh, our goal is to get rid of those and get you better oil life and uh, engine life. So we'll start by turning this on. You guys can see that this is basically black, um, or, or very very dark gray with that soot in there. So the pump is going. Um, and we're going to do a couple tests now, first with the OE filter and then with the Clean Air Fleet filter. So, so that's what's coming up. It's, I mean, clearly you guys can see it in the, in the, the camera, but it's, it's basically black. You can't see through it. It's very nasty. I mean, that's what your oil looks like with the OE filter. So. Yep. So basically everything 30 micron and smaller is passing through your full flow filter. That's what the rating means. So um, the soot and the dirt and the dust, it's, you can see right there, it's not removing them. Yeah. It's just there for the big stuff. Exactly. So what we're doing, now I'm gonna take the flow and divert it over to ours. And we're getting 99.98% of all the soot, dirt, and dust, moisture and acid out of the oil. So by slowing the flow down, we're actually able to So these are the two separate oil samples. One, the first one over here, the, the gray black one is from the OE filter alone. Um, and then the second one over here that looks like basically canola oil or, or very, very light oil um, is from the from the combination of the OE filter and the clean air fleet, right? Yeah, actually what this is is just our system so just running just, through it. Okay, yeah, yeah, we diverted it over. So this um, is just clean air fleet. This doesn't even this doesn't even go through the, the OE filter. So this is what clean air fleet's one micron filter can do to this, essentially. Well, and that's the, that's the goal here. We're taking 99.98% of all the solids out. Okay, that's the first thing. That causes your wear. Secondly, we're taking the moisture up to 12 ounces of water per element. And we're also controlling acid formation. As diesel is uh, burned in combustion, you get acids of combustion. Okay. And what does that do? Well, the acidity, uh, you know, and the, the additive package from the oil it, it uses it up prematurely, and yeah, you're right. At 15, 20,000 miles, you have to drop your oil because there is no oil life left in it. Um, so the 50 gallons per minute, half gallon per minute. If you cut these open, which I'm sure a lot of you have, it's a 16th inch thick paper. If you stretch it out, it's five feet in length. Okay, so you're dealing with five feet of paper, 16th inch thick. That's 30 micron. That's it. What we have is if you unravel, this is our element, 500 feet of paper, four inches thick, okay? So this is a cellulose combined with a synthetic material that's pulling out the acid and the moisture. And it goes from 20 to 10 down to one micron absolute out of the bottom. So we're taking 99.9% .9 of everything out of the oil and purifying it. And the reason that is, is we slow the flow down. So high flow, 
low surface area. Very low flow, high surface area. So we're doing the exact opposite. And we're not replacing the full flow system. Right. We're not removing it. Uh, and I'm not saying that this is not effective and it's it's not worth it. I mean, it's the OEs, they have it there for a reason. It's to, in line to protect from the big stuff. But the biggest uh, misnomer or misunderstanding is that this cleans the oil, which it does not. Right. And to have this in addition as a supplemental or auxiliary oil purification system, your oil's gonna last longer. That's the first thing guys look at. We can safely double. You'll have cleaner oil at double for the longer, amount of yeah. miles on it. I mean, what's the, what's the average uh, What's the average oil change on a, on a regular ISX or something like that? Yeah, like most guys would be at 15,000. So what, what do you what do you suggest then when you put your, your oil filtration? What is your suggested so mileage? The, and everybody's kind of different because you got different loads, different routes, uh, different environments and oil. You could be running a conventional or synthetic. Right, synthetic so that's right, always yeah. very, uh, it varies. And everybody has a different sort of PM schedule. But on, like you said, on ISX, the standard run of the mill is about 15,000. Right. Okay. So what we do is say at 15,000, we're going to come in, you're going to take a sample off the oil sample port and send that to the lab. We're going to switch out our filter, uh, put a new one in. Very simple. It takes a few minutes to do it. Um, and we're going to leave the regular filters on. And we're only going to change those when you actually yeah. drop the oil. So then at, you know, so at 15,000 miles, we're not interfering with your normal PM schedule. You're still going to bring it in. You're still going to uh, grease it, do a safety inspection, everything. And then you're going to change our filter, take a sample. At 30,000, we're going to come in again. And according to what the oil sample, you know, most people are very happy with cutting their oil expenses. Oh, yeah, yeah for I sure. I mean, 50% less oil. That's good enough, right? Yeah. Right. Um, some guys want to go farther and they want to push the envelope. In my, in, in a clean air fleet's opinion, uh, 11 gallons of oil, you're yeah. not going to break the bank. I yeah, mean, yeah. the whole idea is saving your, your engine. Right, because down the road, obviously, you don't want to have to replace your motor or something like that. So, I mean, that's where the that's where the big expense is. Like we talked about in the beginning, one of the best, biggest expenses that a fleet or a op owner operator has is, is maintenance and oil changes and if you have to replace an engine or a transmission or something like that. And so this... This is, this is a way that you can extend that maintenance, um, extend the life of your oil, and extend the life of your motor. And that's that's most important because, I mean, I don't know how much an ISX costs anymore, but I'm sure it's not cheap. Right. I and mean, the same thing goes with a lot of our customers that have Caterpillars. I mean, yeah. they don't make them anymore. So what happened? The parts are, are a lot higher. They're, you know, a rebuild can average anywhere from twenty to twenty five to $30,000, as most uh, Caterpillar owners know. So when we go to a show or talk to a customer that has Caterpillars, they get it right away because they're not making them and they love their cat. That's why they own it still after how many years of not being on the road with the, with the Caterpillar on-road engine and they want to get the longevity out of it. They want to protect their investment. Yeah. And at the end of the day, oil savings, you will pay for this thing in less than a year. Most guys, six months. Some, if you're doing a synthetic over the road oil change, two oil changes. It's paid for. Um, but the, the real big picture, like Dave was alluding to, is that you downtime, rebuilds, uh, maintenance, you know, all these things uh, that really eat into your profit margin. And let's face it today, you know, you can't run more miles with the ELD. Right. So you have to be smarter on the, on the front end of that equation. And yeah. that's by cutting your costs and running leaner. So, um, you know, this pretty much explains it, you know, this... Yeah, we're showing how well ours works. We get that, 99.98%. But we're also showing what this doesn't do and how it doesn't really measure up. And if you think this is doing a good job, you know, take a look at some oil samples. You know, take a look at this. I mean, that's night and day difference. I mean, like literally, like this is this is canola oil. It looks like canola oil. And this right here is someone put their cigarette out in their in their engine oil. So, um, I mean, we, we did it in front of you. This is a this is a live thing. So, I mean, the, the proof is in the pudding right here. Um, and, and like he was talking about the ELD mandate with the miles and all that kind of stuff, we're trying to save you guys money in the long run. Um, and so I think this could be an effective product for a lot of you guys out there that are running those hard, long miles uh, to help protect your motors, protect your trucks, and just uh, do an awesome job of, of keeping your costs down. So, uh, Kurt, do you have anything else for us? Um, yeah, I'll just run through. Cool. This, is the, this is the filter itself. Um, powder coated inside and out. When we developed this, we made a system for the Class A truck. It's able to withstand the vibration going on the road. We've had these out here, we got, we have them on trucks for longer than 10 years. So basically we built this to last longer than your rebuild. Okay, yeah. 
Um, this is heavy duty stuff. I mean, yeah. we don't let me. I mean, this literally probably weighs. I don't know what ten pounds, eight ten pounds. Yeah. This is this is heavy duty. Like you said, it's powder coated. It looks great. Um, what are the colors you can get this in? Red, yellow, blue. blue. Uh, uh, we also custom any color that anybody wants. We've yeah. done all sorts of different colors. Um, for chrome, custom chrome. chrome. Yeah. Chrome. All you uh, chrome junkies out there, they do make them in chrome. So right. So I mean, if you have everything on your truck that's already chrome, and you, you're looking for one more thing, that's chrome. Did, yeah. Get a chrome cleaner get, get fleet. Get a chrome cleaner fleet thing. Yeah. Um, it'll help your truck, and you'll look good. Right. You look good doing it. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, and then here's the, the the lid. So you know, no tools required. Uh, you can take it off. There's a magnet built into it uh, to help control. You know, wear metals, um, iron, even soot. Believe it or not. Uh, we have silicon O-rings, we have Viton O-rings, I mean, we have stainless steel parts where necessary. You know, this thing is bulletproof. Yeah. Um, this is not just another glorified spin-on filter acting as a bypass. This is a uh, tried and true bypass system. You know, and we didn't actually invent bypass system, uh, oil systems. These go back to the first combustion engines. This is what they ran. Of course, they put socks. Uh, old denim jeans, toilet paper, whatever, who knows? Yeah, whatever they can find, whatever, the, yeah, whatever they can throw, whatever probably grass, who knows? Grass. But what we did is we developed this based on that. We made it better. You know, we made uh, one for today's engines to control soot, acid, and water. Um, you know, a lot of the systems out there, like I said, they're glorified uh, spin-on filters. They're not. They're not addressing water and acid. Uh, centrifuge. It's great, but it's not. Again, it's not addressing acid water. It's solids. So solids are only half the battle. So awesome, yeah. Um, but like I said, Clean Air Fleet has some great products, and this is just the beginning. Uh, we're covering oil today. They also have products for uh, fuel um, and also uh, hydraulic hydraulic oil as well. Mm -hmm. So we'll cover those in a later episode. But overall, Clean Air Fleet does an awesome job of not only explaining exactly what they do, uh, but they they have an awesome customer service program. Uh, and they'll work very closely with any kind of driver, uh, fleets, owner operators, whatever it is, in order to make you guys uh, make your make your maintenance easier for you. Is essentially what they're doing. Um, but yeah, uh, that's it. And I think, uh, yeah, it was, this was awesome. And uh, like I said, our first guest appearance on Jack's Crumb Show. So thank you so much, Kurt, for coming on. Thanks, and, Dave. Uh, yeah, Appreciate it. I had a great time. So yeah. thank you so much. And uh, stay tuned. We'll do some wrap up and get out of here. Don't go quite yet. Swing by our website, jackscrumbshop.com and browse our selection of thousands of truck parts and accessories. First time customers receive 10% off their order when they use promo code JCS1234. If you'd like to further support the show, consider purchasing a Jack's Chrome Shop shirt. Links to our merch store, the Jack's Chrome Shop website, our social media profiles, and related videos will be in the video description below. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more trucking news, product reviews, and Chrome content, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching this video, and remember, if your rig don't shine, you don't know Jack. Highways is a way of life, for few and far between.